So hey, welcome to my backyard. And uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful February afternoon in Eastern North Carolina. And today is my youngest daughter's 19th birthday. And uh, I'm not gonna smoke a cigar to celebrate her birthday. I'm just gonna smoke a cigar because it is a absolutely beautiful, beautiful afternoon out here. It's about 50 couple degrees, no wind blowing. Uh, it's just, just nice. Sweatshirt is really all I need. And I've just made my take on the old fashioned. So good. I'm going to tell you. But I thought today that since I was going to smoke a cigar, I would see what's in my humidor. Right? It's been a, it's been a little while since I took a, took a stroll through my humidor, and this is my humidor. All right? I really, really like it. I don't want to tip it up too much because I got different kind of stuff going on. But I want to see, Holly, what do I have in here? What might I want to smoke? So let's see. Got my handy Bavita packs here. I've got, now you'll see that this right here is uh, these Kristoffs. That's obviously not a Kristoff. I just, I put it in the bag. So I've been holding on to that cigar since, uh, oh, about Christmas, I guess. Go ahead and see what we got going on here. So this humidor is supposed to be a 200 count. I think it's got to be a 100 count. I've got about 40 cigars most of the time in here. Um, and it it stays full. That's with the dividers and stuff. So we've got a Kristoff Shade Grown. All right. We've got another Kristoff. All right. Because obviously I bought a sample pack. And here's a Kristoff Connecticut. Guys, I'm not a Connecticut guy. I'm just going to tell you. Uh, this was my Christmas present. I'm going to smoke it one of these days. I just ordered a 10-pack of Cohiba Reds. They shipped out today. Excited. Uh, not quite sure what this is. Great big old thing. I went on a cruise a couple weeks ago, and uh, I didn't take any cigars on the cruise with me. But they did have cigars on the cruise. I bought a sample pack of these uh, Brick House. And I've had a Brick House before. And I really like the one that I bought. These I wasn't crazy about. I don't really know why. Oh, here is a La Palina. Obviously a punch. You can't go wrong with a punch. If you haven't had a punch, uh, go ahead and get one. I've got one of these Sunday gravies, and I have often talked about my um, affinity for the Sunday gravy, except the last batch that Diesel put out of the Sunday gravy. Not a fan. I was also not a fan of the fact that they made them smaller. Raised the price. I understand inflation's got us all, but they raised the price and made the cigar smaller and I, I just wasn't a fan so instead of buying a box which i usually do because i i kind of like them they're kind of cool and usually you know 10 for 50 bucks um i just bought one took it home tried it big disappointment i'm just going to tell you sorry diesel i was disappointed obviously the oliva v the oliva v is very popular um, I've got quite a few of those. I smoked one the other day. I smoked one of the, Milan, the V Milanos. People like it. Let's see what else we have in here. Uh-oh. Starting to get a little stiff there. It's about time to change it out. This one's not. Ah. I've got the uh, Rocky Patel 2008 Cameroon. That would be pretty good. Let's see what else we got going on in here. About six months or so ago, I bought a uh, box of these, a 10, 10 count box of these Cohiba Blacks. Very, very good. I really, really enjoy them. Obviously, you're not going to go wrong with um, the Undercrown Maduro. I'm not a fan of the Undercrown Maduro um, Connecticut. Did not, I mean, not Maduro, Connecticut. The Undercrown, Connecticut. I don't like it. I don't know why. There's something about it I don't like. I also have three of those uh, Maduros in the tubes. And let's see. What else we got going on here? 
have another La, La Palina, La Plina, right? Here we go. Got that one going on here. Got three of these, uh, Romeo and Juliet, 1975s from Nicaragua. I've had one of those before. They're pretty decent cigars. All right. These were an unbranded cigar that I ordered a uh, a 20 count of them. They're very good. I ordered them off of Cigar Page. Cigar Page, I believe, I might be mistaken. If I am, then correct me. Is owned by Oliva. And if I had to take a guess, just a guess, nothing basing that on anything else, I would guess that that was an Oliva G or an Oliva O overrun. They're very good. I've got uh, five of those left there. I'll put these back in here on top. Oh, now we got to go to the other side. Remember I said I don't love the uh, Undercrown Connecticut? I've got one. Just because I have it in there, looking at my my dog Sully's one around in the yard. I'm not a fan. But I also have a few of these. Now these, we'll see, right? These uh, Enclave by A.J. Fernandez. Got a couple of those. I smoked one the other night. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it a lot. I was I was impressed with it. Let's just say that. Uh, another La Palina right there. And another one of my unbranded ones. Pretty good. Pretty good to go here. So. Oh, another La Palina. Oscuro. I might give that one a shot. Smoked one of these the other day for the first time. It was good. I enjoyed it. I've got a few of these from Key West. My wife brought me back from the Point Break. These are the Key Lime. If you like a flavored cigar, I'm not crazy about a flavored cigar. That one's pretty good. Um, I would get a, a larger one. I had the Torpedo the first time that I had one and perfect draw, great smoke. These right here, the smaller ones, um, I just lost the name of the size of these. It'll come to me. They're a little tight. I'm just gonna tell you the draw on them is, is a little bit tight. Uh, two of these. Box pressed, um, Oliva V, uh, Milanios. All right, this one's a little bit bigger, so torpedo size. All right, when I've got a little bit more time out here. And I got one of these from the Great Cliff Factory. Um, you get this pretty cheap online. When you go to the factory, they, they charge you way, way, way more than they are even close to being worth. Um, Placienda. Placencia, Placencia. All right, we'll give that one a try here. And guys, if you like Rocky Patel, the Rocky Patel decade has got to be the best Rocky Patel that I've ever had. Um, it just, it's a, it's just a pretty decent smoke, guys. So, what am I going to smoke? Golly, so much to choose from. I think I'm going to go ahead and smoke this one we'll see how that goes right put this all back together the way it was so it all fits back just like it should all right beautiful beautiful put the top tray back in here i like it like that put this bag back in here because i will reuse that it's great when you travel too so that is what's inside my humidor and uh, i usually don't keep many more than that like I, said, I just ordered a uh, a box of 10 of the cohiba reds and um i do like the smell the cigar mm. this one smells like it's going to be strong right this la Pelina nicaragua oscuro did i say that right with the right accent i don't know oh what does it smell like what am i getting when i'm smelling it that's the beautiful thing about a cigar, guys. They all smell a little bit different. Can't tell. Very pleasant so far without lighting it. My favorite part of lighting of uh, lighting a cigar, obviously, is the toasting it, guys. Toasting around the edges. 
I love the smell. I love the smell of that instantly burning tobacco leaf when you're toasting it. It's just nice. It's pleasant. Something relaxing. This one. Smells great. Oh my gosh. It's, I mean, it smells like burning tobacco, but it's got a nice aroma to it. That's a lot milder than I expected, just to be honest with you. Very good. Mm. So is this, by the way. My take on the old fashioned, and I've got my own ice cube, handmade ice cube that I make in here. And uh, some people make them in a cooler. That's great if you've got the freezer space. I use a uh, metal travel coffee cup. I fill it about a little less than half, maybe a little more than a quarter full freeze it overnight sometimes not all the way overnight let it sit for a little bit maybe run some hot water around the edges get it loose pour it out then put them in the freezer i keep them in a bag so i've got about four or five um ice cubes that are roughly the size and diameter of this bottle so usually i can fill it up to here pour my drink in it and you'll see the drink it's really cool you'll see the drink this one's been sitting for a while and i'll have drink here ice cube here and drink here and it makes for a pretty pretty cold night so what do i do in mine i like um i use agave syrup it's a little sweeter it's got a little extra flavor to it i use the bitters about four dashes two ounces of whiskey this is 105 proof from the bogue sound distillery um, i've got a cocktail cherry in here i don't know if you can see it it's kind of sitting in the middle underneath the ice cube tiny bit of that juice from that and an orange peel and because i used a higher proof whiskey i put in just a little bit of soda water mixed it up and um and i stir it up really 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 good some people don't do that i like to stir mine up and then pour it over that ice cube and just sit and tiny sips guys this this has got to be the best drink so not the classic, classic old fashioned, but still a very, very good old fashioned. And a very good cigar. It's a good choice. I'm going to remember this one and I'm going to get another one. So anyway, listen, it's February the 18th. I don't know what time it is, maybe two o'clock, something like that. I hope that your February afternoon is every bit as beautiful as mine. That's what's inside my humidor today. Next week, it should be holding a uh, few Cohiba red dots, and we'll see what else. All right, guys. So y'all have a great time. It's 13 and a half minutes into this. If you watched the whole thing, good for you. If you didn't, that's fine, too. I hope that you're having a great time. We'll talk to you later. All right. Mm. Mm.